Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Tuesday. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed May the 4th Be With You Day yesterday. Saw some nice pictures on uh, Facebook and on Twitter. Looks like some people had some fun with that. Hopefully, we'll keep having some fun today. I'm also wearing my baseball cap today, and I have my cup, my Phillies cup. I don't know if you saw, but on ESPN, they are now broadcasting professional baseball from South Korea. Now, it's at 1 a.m., I think sometimes at 3 a.m., but uh, I'm going to start recording that so I can see some live professional baseball. Mr. Meehan's real excited about that. Mr. Kelly's real excited about that. You guys might be too. If you're missing baseball, pick a favorite team from South Korea. All right. What else we got going on here? Dun, dun, dun. It's May 5th, 2020. Cinco de Mayo, which is a holiday in Mexico. And it commemorates a battle between the Mexican army and the French army, and the Mexican army won. So that's a big day. A lot of people like to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. So uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. And it's Teacher Appreciation Day. Don't forget how hard your teachers are working to make sure that you're still learning through Zoom, through Canvas, through Clever. Try and do something nice for a teacher today. Maybe send them a little thank you note through Canvas. Maybe do your work in Canvas. Maybe um, post a picture on Facebook or Twitter with maybe a sign like this saying thank you and to your teacher. Maybe one thing that you're thankful for. Because our teachers are working really hard right now, just like you guys are. And let's really try and show our appreciation for them. We got some birthdays. Happy birthday, Ava F., and Mia A. Happy birthday, Ava F. and Mia A. Congratulations. All right. Now, we also have many folks who had a chance to see David Jeanette's um, suspension bridge challenge. Did you see that video? I posted it. I emailed it to everybody. Mr. Jeanette did a great job building a suspension bridge just with the materials he had at home. He didn't buy anything. And he was able to have some small little matchbox cars cross the bridge. And he was able to even have some big matchbox cars cross the bridge. Well, then he starts challenging other people. So he challenged Dr. McGee. Dr. McGee made a video of the whole design process, trying to figure out what can you use that's going to work, what can you use that's not going to work. He made a great bridge. His wife videotaped it. It's awesome. Miss Burkholder and her family, they made a nice bridge. They made a picture of that. So I hereby now am going to start challenging some people to see if they can make a suspension bridge just with the materials that they have at home. And if they can do it, they can uh, share that online on Twitter or on the PTO Facebook page or they could send it to me. So I'm going to challenge some teachers and I'm going to challenge some students. First of all, the students. Hayden Baez, I'm challenging you to the suspension bridge challenge. Sincere H, I'm challenging you to the suspension bridge challenge. Aubrey K, I'm challenging you to the suspension bridge challenge. And Brooklyn A, I'm challenging you to the suspension bridge challenge. I'm also going to challenge some teachers here. I'm challenging Mr. McGee. I'm challenging Miss Goodwin. I'm challenging Mr. Richardson, and I'm challenging Mrs. Gorman. Now, before you panic, before you think, oh, my goodness, I hardly have time to do all my Canvas activities. A, this would be a lot of fun, okay? 
And you'll learn a lot through the design process. And it's a fun family thing too. If you are a teacher, I get that it's Teacher Appreciation Week and I get that you might be busy. So if you do not want to accept the challenge as a teacher, all you have to do is challenge somebody else. You could challenge another teacher or you could challenge someone in your class or you could challenge your whole class. You could have your whole class maybe work together virtually to see if they could come up with a good design and then see if someone could build that, okay? So that's for Mr. McGee, Ms. Goodwin, Mr. Richardson, and Mrs. Gorman. For our students, I really wanna see you make that bridge, okay? Now, again, I don't wanna burden you. I don't wanna throw extra work your way. This is like a fun thing. So if any of you know some friends who might be able to help, maybe you could collaborate online, you could work together on that. And if you actually do it, when you make a video, in your video, you can challenge someone else. You could challenge a teacher. You could challenge another student. And we'll see which elementary school has the most successful suspension bridges. It would be great if it were Hoover Elementary. All right? So challenge laid down for all of our folks. I want you all to have fun in Canvas today. All right? I've been looking, and like I said, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. Our teachers are working really hard. And every week, I think it's easier to navigate in Canvas. We're finding fewer problems. We're finding more kids doing work in Canvas. So if you're somebody who's not doing work in Canvas, please know it's possible. We've got a lot of kids, K to four, who are doing all their work. Some of them are even done by Monday or Tuesday, and they have some extra time for something like the Suspension Bridge Challenge, all right? But I work with the science teachers a lot. So I know for a fact that yesterday, I believe in first grade, Wow, that was cool. I think you had Darth Vader reading a Pebble Ghost story. Pretty cool. And in fourth grade, we had the science girls, science girls. They're doing an amazing job. I believe that you might see episode two of the science girls today if you're working along in Canvas. All right. So have some fun in Canvas. Have some fun with the suspension bridge challenge. We'd love to see some more videos. If you haven't had a chance yet, you got to see Mr. Jeanette's video. He's got a construction helmet on and everything. And uh, Dr. McGee's video is pretty good, too. And like I said, it is Senko de Mayo. So we should celebrate. great song. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day. And have a great day on Canvas.